Hello, this is uh, a review on the Gazelle tent. I borrowed it from a friend of mine in a Jeep club, Nicole, who had it for about a year, she says, but never actually opened it. So I told her I would love to check it out for her. So I figured while I have it open, I might as well do a review on it. So um, literally this tent is the fastest tent I've ever set up. Like it advertised 90 seconds on the box, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that's pretty accurate. So um, the thing that took a little bit the longest, which again didn't take that long was this rain fly that has some poles that extend from the end so that it sticks out just a little bit and then some hooks on the sides to hook, tie it down. But these walls, if you've watched any other gazelle tent set up, um, they really just push in and pull out. So you do that, all four sides, and then step inside and push the top up and that's all it is. Um, but it has large door on this corner and the opposite corner, same setup, and then um, two windows on these corners, and there's also a window on the opposite side of that door on that side as well. So plenty of airflow that it has. Um, I would recommend tying a guy line off of here to the ground so that way it doesn't pop in so easily. Like my four-year-old a little while ago just leaned on it and um, just it pops right in. So that's what I would do. And then of course it has um, stake holes for the four corners and then stake holes for the middle of the tent as well on the sides. So I would take advantage of doing that um, as many as possible. So it's up to like 12 stakes on it and four stakes in the ground and four guy lines. It comes with some um, some really good stakes, I think. I like them because they're not the rounded ones, so they can't twist in the ground. Um, and my four-year-old has my camera. Stop, Liam. Don't grab onto that, please. Okay. Um, and then it comes with the four guidelines. Um, bright orange, which is nice, easily see. Um, I don't think they're reflective at night, but that would make it better. But um, let me uh, pause it real quick and see if I can get a better look at some other things. All right, so here I am on the inside of the tent. I said um, two windows on that side on one corner, the same on the very opposite side. Two windows. There's the other door with an adjacent window. Has four, one, two, three, four large pockets on the sides. Um, it has this mesh not sure what that could uh, really be used for but it kind of does go down to like a pocket um, access on both sides and then there's one on the opposite side of the tent as well um, and then of course it does have this little hanging basket at the very top but this here is the top I'll show you real easy pull down and then that is the how the top folds in and then push up so so simple easy easy um i did just discover a moment ago that uh the floor liner does come out i didn't realize that i just kind of looked in and noticed that it is velcroed all the way in and around um so it's not like a hundred percent bug resistant i would say i mean bugs could still get in so uh as always make sure you don't um keep food in your tent but um I thought that was pretty nifty if you wanted to take that floor liner out and kind of have a like a screened in room ish feeling with the uh, bare floor and a um, with the wind keep you out of the, the the keep the bugs out of uh, mosquitoes and things like that so I thought that was interesting but um, very durable I really uh, I'm really uh, excited to maybe test it out one weekend when I'm camping maybe for summer camp when I go to summer camp with scouts but um maybe I'll have a nice spacious area for me but uh really really nice setup really nice uh, design and, and well put together so uh it's really easy and I am uh like 5'10 5 5'11 5 I may have shrunk in, in my older age I don't know but um if you can see plenty 
plenty of head room here in the center as I get closer to the side walls, you know, I, I touch, but um, I don't anticipate standing in here very often. I would um, probably have, if I'm just hanging out in here, um, you know, maybe some chairs to sit in um, without, with, with the subfloor gone and uh, definitely like my cot if I'm sleeping in it and uh, there's plenty of room for a cot in the floor. Um, four people I think could easily sleep in here, um, sleep in close proximity, you know, but um, four people easily could sleep in here with sleeping bags, but uh, I would probably use it with a, a cot and my foot locker for summer camp and uh, hang a fan in the middle, definitely. It might support the weight of a, a small fan to kind of get some air circulation in here, but recommend it. Gazelle tents. I was originally looking at trying to get a um, just the the screen house, but uh, I don't know. Depending on the price comparison, I might uh, get one of these instead, but uh, we'll see. We'll see, definitely, because I have too many tents as it is. But Gazelle tents, I'll give you a... There's the logo. Big logo on top of the rainfly. Really cool tent. Really cool tent. Alright, so I just uh, went in and zipped up all the windows and the doors to kind of keep them closed. I like, when I fold up a tent, I like to keep it, um, all the windows closed up. So, folds up nice and neater, I think. But I'm going to show you all what it takes to take this thing down. Real simple. First, going to start with the, um, the four hooks on the sides of the rainfly. Uh, go around and do that and undo the pole that kind of just goes into the side on the corners to take the rain fly off and then I will uh, push in the sides and in the tent show y'all how that goes let's go That wasn't supposed to happen. Push. 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 Now they're all the poles. So one corner. It comes with this nifty velcro strap to kind of wrap around it to keep it nice and tight and that's it I will fold up the uh, the rain fly in just a moment, but you see how easy it was to, to just push it in and take it down. Real simple. Just imagine the reverse. Sorry for the uh, sweat. It's uh, South Carolina summer, so humid, hot. That's what we deal with. So, but um, definitely check it out if you like my, uh, my, my review. Thumbs up. Uh, I'm just getting into this subscribe subscribe if you want I try to get more into this recent stay-at-home dad so um, just something to do not really looking to make money if that's what people do but uh, just review some stuff so um, and share what I'm into so um, 
check it out gazelle tents um, if I get any more my hands on any more I will try now I gotta finish putting it up one thing I didn't show you was uh, the bag it comes in very very sturdy it's got two grab handles here on the sides when it's at the top very nice shoulder strap to sling it over your shoulder it's padded well padded another grab handle here it's got pad in the bottom so it doesn't like bang through the, the material and make make holes and then whenever you get it back in here it also has two more sets of velcro straps that wrap around the whole thing to keep it nice and tight so whenever wherever you're carrying it fit into tight spots so um, um, that's it Peace out.